Are you guys ready for more Clone Wars, guys? We're yes, ready. We are. We're ready. It's getting deeper. Oh my God. Darker. Season six, guys. We only have a season and a half left. We are on episode seven, Crisis at the Heart. That doesn't sound good. What could that possibly mean, guys? Um, I would say Anakin. And Padme. So to see Anakin like that, I mean, again, we know what's Mm going to happen and we're getting closer to that. But the fact that he got so jealous and angry. Wow, didn't he? Oh, wow, and getting he sure so did. aggressive to Padme mm-hmm. and Clovis, like beating the crap out of him like that. Yeah, right. big time. And that's huge for Padme. I mean, it really shows her character and how strong she is, where she's really good with the people, speaking to the people, being open minded. Mm-hmm. And with sure Anakin, is, yeah. she loves him, but she's not blinded by love either, where when he was out of control, it got to the point where she was willing to break up with him because that's pretty much what she did. I know she's going to get back together with him, but like that's huge uh, yeah. to do that. Yeah. She put it on ice definitely. for a while. It that's needs right. to be on ice. Yeah. I was impressed that she did that. I was like, wow, she really did break up with him. I mean, I know, again, it's like on hold or on ice, yeah. but um, that's huge, especially knowing Anakin... He's a great warrior, but he has a lot of insecurities, and sure she does. knows that. So for her to break up with him or to, like, pause for a while, like, she knew that was going to really hurt him a lot as well. Mm-hmm. But she still did it because he needs to learn that he can't be controlling like that. Like, he really tried oh, to control definitely. her all yeah. the way through. Yes. You can't do this. You're going to tell the counselor no. Oh. And, you know, just kept demanding. He would even say, I demand That's you. Right. you know, just to really push that even more to be like, oh, especially for kids watching. Like, oh, yeah, he's really. Yeah, and they're she married. They're secretly married. Mm-hmm. So he's pushing over the line because even um, Obi saw his tension. He can feel the tension when Anakin even just says his name or his, or Clovis's name is, um, you know, said in his presence, he just, he can feel the tension. Mm -hmm. So he's really showing that emotion throughout, you know, his close, you know, advisors and his close allies. Mm -hmm. He really, he can see that. And the chancellor knows that. The chancellor mm-hmm. just says, ha, ha, ha. This yeah, his perfect right. plan is just yes, going well, right. you know? Like, he mm-hmm. just manipulates, yeah. and he knows this is perfect to make Anakin jealous. That's just right. to mess with that's him, right. setting that's Padme right. up with Clovis to work together closely, you know? He's like, yeah, ha, ha, so ha, ha. Yes, terms and conditions. Ha, ha. Right. So terrible. Right. And I loved what Obi-Wan you know, said to Anakin, like he had that one-on-one talk and it was a heart to heart, Mm -hmm. you know, like he really was, uh, you know, they're close and I love seeing that close relationship with them, but it was really hard for Anakin to hear that. And with Obi-Wan bringing up Satine, like that's hard and he knows what it's like for, you know, so it was good that he was trying to open up and, you know, really have Anakin talk to him or just understand that you can't get that close, but he already knows, like he keeps looking back, like, he knows it's worse than mm-hmm. what it is. Yeah, you know? he knows he, he can't really change his feelings towards her. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I really, I felt bad for Clovis even. Yes, he put, tried to put the moves on her with his arm over her shoulder, but he doesn't know about Anakin, mm-hmm. yeah. you know? I and, her. you know, it looked like they were, you know, starting to have a romantic thing going on. So right at the moment, the perfect moment, Anakin has to open the door and see this, you know? Oh, I know. Right. It was like, exactly. how perfect <laughs> Yeah. Exactly. Oh, and I was like, it's going to happen. It's right. going to happen. And yeah, so I don't that's blame right. Clovis for that. And Padme, mm-hmm. like, you know, she was told to be in this position, not that position, but she was told to be right. like yeah, to work with right. him. And he didn't know that she was in a relationship. Like he kind of right. was curious and was asking about Anakin, but he knows the law and says like, you can't be with a Jedi. So mm-hmm. he was curious, but I don't think he was in the wrong to try to make moves on her because he really loved her. And he was hoping that he could still probably have something with her. So he wasn't trying to like, oh, it's your husband. I'm going to cheat. Ha ha. Right. I mean, they were having drinks. They were having hors d'oeuvres. I mean, and that could also lead to stuff, too, which not all Mm -hmm. the time. But honestly, no matter how good of a person you are, if you're with a loved one or someone that you really cared for and you're drinking a lot, it's easy to let your guard down. So anything could happen Mm -hmm. there. So that also makes it hard. So it's just a perfect situation for Anakin to walk in on. And it really just truly shows how jealous he is. You know, he just loses control. His emotions just take over and that's it. So 
With Clovis, do you think he is going to be truly bad? Or do you think he's going to redeem himself in some way or try to save Padme? Like, he's done that before where he saved her when she got poisoned, right? So I don't trust him fully. I agree. I think he's going to be bad, especially so. now under Dooku's eyes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Definitely, bank. yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go the opposite. Again, we're all blind to this. And I'm going to say that he is doing bad things, yes, but he might not realize how deep this goes. And he might try to, I guess, redeem himself because something bad will happen to Padme again. And he'll be like, I can't do this. And he will sacrifice himself, you know, to save that her. That sounds like something he would too. do as well. Maybe, That's but right. I could be completely wrong. So hey, shall we wait, get into this episode? I can't wait to find out. Let's yeah, see let's what find out. <laughs> Crisis at the heart. I just think like... Okay. Either she'll be like, how could you do this? And it'll be Padme's heart that's broken. Because even though she's not in love with him, she still loved him. She still really cared for him. So that's yeah, going to hurt. Okay. Or, I mean, even though she was really angry before and said, I don't want to even work with him if he's the one in charge of the bank or whatever. Mm -hmm. In the beginning of last episode. That's right, yeah. Um, but I think Crisis at the Heart is going to be about Clovis and him, like, making that ultimate decision. Well, his picture's up right. there, yeah. so. Sure yeah, and he is. has, yeah. like, a... I don't know what kind of expression. He looks very like worried. Sad and, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Kind of like, like I can't. I'm making I, a I, yeah. nice, oh, decision to save her. I wasn't say bad decision, but it's not going to be good for him. Mm -hmm. All right, six oh seven. Deceit is the weapon of greed. Mm -hmm. Corruption. Rush Clovis and Senator Amidala discover the full extent of the deception, throwing their relationship into turmoil. Rush Clovis is elected new leader of the Galactic Banking Clan. Our Separatist government has great hopes for you. Only you and Senator Amidala will be allowed to monitor the exchange proceedings. No forces on either side will be allowed into the neutral zone. Hopefully she has a weapon in somewhere. I know, she always does. <laughs> she like, she does. Check yeah. my socks this time. <laughs> <laughs> in my hair. Yeah. By decree of the Moon people, the five representatives standing before me are found guilty of embezzlement. They shall be imprisoned forthwith. <sighs> I would like you to know I have no interest in controlling the banks. I'm simply here to reestablish order. Wow, he does sound sincere. Mm -hmm. Little will stop him from achieving it. Let us hope you are right, for all our sakes. Ah, Clovis. <laughs> How are you liking your new office? I must say you look very comfortable behind that desk. The transfer has occurred without a hitch. Well, of course it has. After all, aren't we the ones who put you there? Mm. Quite the idealist you have become in so short a time. What do you want, Dooku? To collect on my investment. I put you in power. You belong to me. And if you want to stay in control, you will do as I say. Raise interest rates on the Republic. What? <laughs> you know I can't do that. Oh, but you can. Shame on him for not realizing when Dooku offered this That's right. job to him that he didn't realize that. But you can't do that. Clovis. He's not looking at her. What are you doing? Yeah. Okay. Huh. Oh boy. Change your heart. Oh, damn. I knew from the beginning that Clovis would be this. Mm. Mm. Hmm. It's a scapegoat. Not clear to us are his objectives. Something's wrong. This doesn't make sense. No, it is true, sense. though. It's so quick. Yeah. It's like, yeah, mm -hmm. it is. yeah, there should be a red flag. It is time to make Rush Clovis look like a powerful separatist. Right away. Oh. Oh, oh. Get the men off this landing pad and beyond the city gates. Invasion. We can't get to you. I suggest you get to a ship as soon as you can. Uh oh. Oh boy. Yeah. I don't know. A ship might not be the oh, best yeah. choice right now. Yeah. Oh, I hate these things. Oh, I give it to God. Ooh. Cool. 
Yeah, I love that. I still use it. <laughs> yeah. Right behind oh, you. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh boy. You should come out the rear. <laughs> it appears they are staging an invasion of Scipio. An invasion? What do they hope to achieve? With this news, the Senate will vote immediately to attack Scipio. <laughs> Glancing over. I didn't want this, partner. Why don't you tell her what you did want and how you got it? Duke. Tell her the truth right in front of him. Hey. Oh, could be you. <gasps> no! Wait till oh, Clovis. No, making no. her do it to him. Oh. That sucks. Oh. Gone are our debts, and gone is any credit for the Republic. All of your idealism was just a front. No. There was nothing I could do. It is with great news I come before you. I've manipulated us, my friends. The war must go to Scipio! Clovis has been their puppet of deceit. We are doomed! Invade! I must abide by the consensus of the Senate. Perfect we shall commence a yeah, mercy right. mission to Scipio. Yeah. Ah. It's really good. <laughs> I am worried for Senator Amidala. Let go of your selfishness. You must. I understand, Master. So don't kill Clovis. That's <laughs> right, yeah. yeah. Hmm. I like that music. It's good. Mm -hmm. Lord Tyrannus. The banks will be firmly placed under the control of the Supreme Chancellor. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> you wouldn't understand. I had to strike a deal with Dooku. You've brought war right where there cannot be war. Your actions have destroyed the banks once and for all. We'll have a better lock once we get near the city. But initial scans suggest she's still alive, sir. We're gonna need air support once we're on the ground. You'll have it, General. The shooting sounds like an old Atari game. <laughs> Some of that. Our forces are still engaged in battle on the planet. Leave them. Yeah. Right. As you wish, Count Dooku. Everything's expendable. A Republic attack fleet has just entered orbit. Count Dooku has left the planet's surface, and the Separatist forces are in full retreat. <laughs> to make it look like a fight, you know? I'm gonna push on and get Padme. Copy that! Oh boy. Get those two big ones. You have to turn yourself in. Mm. Oh, otherwise someone's oh. gonna take care of it. I hope he doesn't kill Clovis. Oh, oh. Uh, stay away from me! I didn't do anything wrong. You don't want to actually this. point a gun at her. Like, <laughs> don't oh don't do that. Being deceived. Yeah, by you. I know. Don't keep pointing a gun at yeah, her. Yeah, just... I know he's afraid of Anakin, but yeah. like you loved her. <laughs> oh, boy, I have to... Right through the window. Come right in. Oh. Oh. Whoa! Whoa! No! What can boy. you do? Ooh. Oh! my Sorry, God! No. Oh, he's gonna let go. Oh! Oh! You're okay. I'm sorry, Anakin. Watch out for that fire. I'm sorry. Aww. I see. I'm really happy you tried to save him. Control of the banks to the office of the Chancellor. Yay! <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> We cannot in good conscience allow our money to fall under the manipulations of a madman like Count Dooku or Separatist Control again. Long live the bank! What are you going to do with the interest rates? That's right. He always gets what he wants more and more and having to control the banks. It's very sad. That's very him. bad. It is, and it that happened is. way too soon for Clovis to do right all that right stuff. Off the bat. Well, yeah. that's why they did it to set yeah. it in motion. That's right. You know. Yeah, and it was right. perfect. But Anakin knew. He goes, "There's just something. It's too weird, though, even for him it to is, say yeah. that. It just happened I way guess. too quick. Like he was very humbled by the position, and then now it's like, yeah. okay, 
How come you're going to raise our rates and not their rates? Mm -hmm. Because he was cornered. And if he didn't do what they wanted, you know, it wasn't going to be good. So he had no other choice but to do that because now he was getting threatened by Dooku. So he had no choice. So to do that, put the plan directly in motion. That's right. Yeah. But to do it so quickly, it's Mm -hmm. like, all right, it's way too much in your, like, it's just not organically enough. It wasn't like, if he was truly going to do that, I would have thought he would have waited. Like if it was like, we're going blind to it thinking he's going to go there for good measure Mm -hmm. for the Republic to be neutral for everybody. He wouldn't do it so quickly, but yeah, that would be like a red flag. Like, why is he doing, is he being muscled by somebody else? But yeah, yeah, I mean, I can get like, it's a short show, you know, yeah. but he did oh, fight yeah. it. He did argue with Dooku his points mm-hmm. and he did refuse, mm-hmm. but then he was threatened to the point where he couldn't anymore. So, you know, that's why, I mean, I, it was yeah. fast, yeah. but that was the whole notion to get that started. Cause like once he was in position, like there's no wiggle room with Dooku. It's like that. Or yeah. Like, okay. Do we're done. Okay. Yeah. He's yeah. going to be the next. Yeah. Uh... Cause you really have no choice at that point. Like it really does suck that. Clovis did that. Um, I really wish he was able to fight it off more, but you're going against mm. this. Epic yeah, he's a pawn. Right, yeah, <laughs> he's, yeah, like, he's, he's just, just their a pawn. pawn. Definitely. Yeah. 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 Um, so it was terrible, and Palpatine was just happy about it because. Oh, yeah. He's like, oh, oh, he gets sure. that, yeah. that woe is me. Like, I'm That's here for right. you guys. The humility of it all now, you know, just worked all the way he wanted it to. So now he's in That's charge right. of the bank. And, <laughs> yeah, it's um, sure. the banks. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what he's going to do with the interest rate or whatever, but with the separatists, yeah. like, he's going to make everything sound really good until it's not, and he'll just keep manipulating. And I really mm-hmm. think we're getting towards the end now. So even when he yeah, was talking it's... at the end of the Clone Wars, I'm going to reestablish the banks as they were. And I'm like, yeah, and your image, of course, because at the right, end of the Clone Wars, a lot of Jedi are dead, <laughs> yeah. and a lot of clones are probably mm-hmm. dead. And it's not good. So, yeah. And he was mentioning Dooku, you know, Count Dooku did this. So I think that's going to be the next setup is putting all the ownership and the the evilness to Dooku. So, which they have eventually. Yeah. Yeah. So eventually he's going to be the next pawn and then Anakin's going to take over. Mm hmm. Yes, it's just amazing know. always having these like Sith lords and you have this master and they always get betrayed and killed and it's like oh well you outlived your purpose now I have found someone <laughs> better right. and yet you still do it but I guess you don't really know all the histories of it or something but yeah like Palpatine so, just yeah. you know like anything in his favor and that's it and even mm-hmm. Dooku getting rid of Ventress like that still shocked mm-hmm. me and I don't know like I just expected him to have a little bit more respect or care there, but it shows how much that my master told me that I have to get rid of you now and that's it. Screw that's you it. And, that's and it. I have to that's do it. what my master says. And just having that kind of relationship, like, oh, when is it going to be my turn? Like, I would be so worried about that, but you just don't see <laughs> I it. I know. They all think they're, they're, they're too special that <laughs> yeah. they're going to be the one. Yeah, I guess the greed and yeah. tunnel vision takes mm-hmm. over that you're not really seeing that. I mean, they're really smart. Duke is really smart, but I mean, God, like in the movies, yeah, there's like no pity there at all. He's like, <laughs> Kill him, kill him, Tess. And, oh, this is terrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, so having control of the banks, it really shows a lot of realism in this where we do have a lot of corruption in governments and stuff. And mm-hmm. here yes. it's like so out of control. And the Republic are blindly like, yeah, cheering with the Chancellor. Like That's he's right, saying yeah. everything they want to hear. Mm-hmm. And it's all screwed up. Like That's everyone's right. just believing him and have no clue what's going on. Right. Even from That's the beginning, amazing. going right to Scipio to you know, go on the war, you know, go right there and let's fight them. Mm -hmm. Let's go right to Scipio right now. And they just have certain like guys left over, like certain robots and stuff fighting just to have some kind of like rebellion going on or some kind Mm -hmm. of war. Um, But most of the guys left already, but it was just enough information to, you know, so like, oh yeah, no, it was all Clovis's idea. He started this war, but now the chancellor was able to take charge of it. And how did you guys feel about Clovis's death? I felt sad, really. I mean, I felt bad for him. You know, he was basically trapped to mm-hmm. his decisions, I, you know. I feel bad that he died in that way. Yeah, yeah me too. Um, and I'm really happy that Anakin attempted to save him. I am too. But yeah, he true. was truthful. I don't know if he could have used the force at that point. 
but he was truthful saying, I don't know how much longer I can hold on to both of you. Yeah. So true. everyone knew who he would choose over the other, but Clovis was man enough to say, I'm sorry, Padme, and just go. Yeah, so that I'm redeemed sorry, him yeah. a bit that mm -hmm. way. So he did save her life. I was thinking it was going to be a more heroic situation, like he was going to jump in front of a gun blast or something to save Padme. Mm -hmm. But that was very tragic. It really did break my heart, like how you know, he died. Yeah. I thought it was kind of pitiful, but very mm -hmm. heroic in his own sense, too. Like falling like that, like he had no hesitation. He's just like, let me go. And Anakin, again, mm -hmm. holding on to him meant a lot to me because we know how jealous Anakin is, but yeah, he is a very complicated character, too. So just to be like, screw you, and not grab his hand and grab Padme would have made me like, really, you know? But yeah. he is really a caring person, and he still grabbed his hand and tried. Like, he was struggling well, with Padme, good. asking her to climb up his arm, yes. holding on to her oh, ex-boyfriend, yeah. and wow. still holding on to him. Like, that's saying a lot. Like, he's struggling. Yeah. And I love the animation, by the way. I don't know if you noticed, but the subtleties of him... Really oh, struggling yeah. To hold Definitely. On. Yeah. Yes. Like, oh, my God. Yeah. Like, Facial expressions. Wow. That was good. And I think it was what Yoda said to him mm -hmm. that stuck in his mind. Nothing Love is Yoda. as it, yes. As it seems. As Definitely, it seems. Yeah. So that stuck in him. And, you know, this time when he opened the door, <laughs> freaking Clovis had a gun to her head. You so know, the last oh time gosh. he opened a the door, they were, you know, embracing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and now, <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. so he's lucky, really. Oh, Clovis yeah. is very lucky that, you know, he did listen to Yoda in That's that respect. Good. I agree, because there I'm like, well, too. now you're dead because you have a gun pointed at her head now. Yeah. And yeah. That was well done, too. I mean, I felt bad because I do understand where Clovis is coming from. He's scared of Anakin. Yeah. Anakin almost, oh, like, definitely. killed yeah. him. He, like, beat yeah. the crap out of him. And Padme told him to stop, you know. And he just lost control. So he was scared. But to grab Padme and put a gun to her head, like, oh, really, I mean, just to even save his own life. Was, wow. Like, with the safety on or something, you're putting mm -hmm. a gun to a loved one's head that you were still in love with. Mm -hmm. Just because you're so afraid. That's also saying oh, something wow. where yeah. I'm like, really? Like, you're willing to do that? I mean, I don't know what else you can do. He was change. terrified and felt cornered. But he her? was, and he wanted to get his point across. You he have did. to understand. Yeah, you have to yeah, see yeah. the whole picture. And that was the it's only card he had. Yep. That was the only card he had. So yeah. at that point, I'm like, yep, Anakin's going to kill you now because that's not good. Oh, just did. <laughs> um, anyways, like, even after all that, Anakin still grabbed his hand. So, again, huge moment. That's, but. Yeah, um, so sad, and I kind of thought he was going to die, though, but honestly, the way he died, too, really shows his character, because he meant well, but he just wasn't a strong person, yes. like standing up against Dooku, not that I know like how much he could actually do with himself against someone Dooku, so supreme, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, so he just did what he could, and yeah, so. He, he did, did and Padme. I honestly thought that he would realize once he took Dooku's word at to be, you know, ahead of the banking clan, to not realize that it was for bad intention, you know, shame on him, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, and when he's sitting there, you know, in his office and Dooku, the first thing, I mean, he pops right up. I mean, yeah. you know, instead of rolling your eyes, I'd be like, oh, that, damn, I, I made the wrong and, decision. Like and that. that's the thing too, with this series where everything's so debatable, because we know Dooku is really bad. And a lot of people Definitely. do know that in the galaxy, but a lot don't actually understand how bad he is as well. And people in the Confederacy aren't always evil. That's always been the thing, right? Like yes. immediately right, you yeah. think separatists that they're bad, but they really do things to help their people. And they think they're doing the right thing which we see a lot and we've seen it before with what like Padme's friend yes Lux's right, mom yeah. you know and a lot of other people so there are a lot of people out there who don't understand like how bad Dooku is I mean maybe they do but I really just think like they think they're in it or they don't even realize that he's part of it so right and you know, they're doing and he's doing the best he can to you know fight off the Republic so yeah in their eyes and and on both sides, they only see, you know, the good in themselves mm -hmm. and the evil in the other. So, yes, people do think that he's doing it for the good. He's, you know, he's a great leader in the military. So I know. And there's just a lot of gray areas where sometimes you just think you're doing the right thing. And sometimes you have to play your cards in a bad way. And then it just doesn't end up like that. So oh, no. I really think that 
Clovis really did mean well to go and help the banks and stuff, but he was just a puppet the whole time and didn't know. So that's what really mm-hmm. sucks about the whole thing. But so, this show's amazing for that, like to really have it um, is. a lot of complications it, with both sides. And you think it's easy to be like, oh, well, everyone should know that they're evil and everyone should know that they're good. But even the Jedi are very corrupt. I mean, look at who's their leader. And they don't even know. And they're doing all these right. yeah. orders right. that that's are right. leading to the worst thing that they can possibly get to, you know, like all the fighting and everything, like what they're doing is for Palpatine. So Mm -hmm. everything's just so corrupt. And even for Dooku to bring together the Republic and the Separatists together for the banking clan to arrest and take those five people off of that council, the banking clan council, the Moons people off Mm -hmm. and put Clovis in charge and show that corruption where the separatists were allowing them initially to filter the money to their own personal bank accounts. Mm -hmm. And that's how the money was depleted in the first place. But you know darn well the separatists took that money back. They arrested them, they put him in jail, they're gonna take that money back in in a heartbeat. Isn't it insane how corrupt it is? Yes, it is. It's just absolutely amazing and very, very sad. Mm-hmm. I wonder if yeah. they have other banks in the galaxy too, where this is like the main one, because like that's a huge amount of money one. to like support both it sides like of multiple one. planets. Like there's so many planets out there. Like that's just insane to even think about. But yeah, so yeah. definitely not a good place to be. I'm glad Jeez. Padme and Anakin were hugging at the end. Like that was sweet to see. Yeah. And I was too, but I'm sad that she know. had to apologize. Yeah, like she's yeah. apologizing, yeah. saying, "I'm sorry, Anakin, that." you know, pretty much she's saying that I misjudged him. And now he's like, oh, it's okay. That's how I yeah, got it as, yeah. oh, you it's know, okay. It's a, yeah. I'd have to rewatch it now because I don't really remember the exchange there. I just remember them being like, oh, I'm kind of I mean, she said other, just, but... all she said was, I'm sorry, Anakin, or something to that effect. Yeah, but I remember that. to yeah. me, she's apologizing for her misjudgment on Clovis. And he's that is probably true, taking it, it like as, that. oh, it's okay. That's so that's validating his temper tantrum for uh, yeah, being jealous that's for sure yeah yeah it, to me so. it yeah. seems like it's validating you know him to be i the agree way he with is. that yeah. and she does think that he was actually evil at that point and i don't know but yeah, yeah. like that does validate that a bit as it well does. but yeah so that's crazy that's not good isn't it sure is no it's not Palpatine <laughs> wanted all of this so got his way yeah, that's oh, he's pretty good it. man he's mm-hmm. very he good sure is. He is. Later. yeah for sure and guys, as yeah. you know, we do have merchandise now. So if you want to check the links below on our YouTube, I was going like this, but this is not one of our merchandise shirts, but no, you can not. find some mugs, See you can find is. some shirts, and we're going to have more designs soon. So anything you buy there really helps our channel grow, it's helps me pay our editors and our reactors so we can create more content for you guys. That's and we right. also have our Patreon where you can see videos up to a week or even more early. And that also helps out the channel as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you very soon as always. Kim's already checked Bye. out. I'm, like, I'm sorry. I'm fuzzy. I'm, fuzzy. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. It's fuzzy, <laughs> fuzzy, fuzzy. Bye. Fuzzy, fuzzy. Bye.